Bolivar was somebody who believed that things like democracy, that even things like religious tolerance or freedom of speech only showed weakness. In fact, Bolivar was very much a man who promoted the whole idea of there being a strong man to rule all. In fact, he had this to say about it. He said, I am convinced to the very marrow of my bones that America can only be ruled by an able despotism. We cannot afford to place laws above leaders and principles above men. In other words, a dictator is the only possible solution. In 1828, he organized what is called the Organic Decree of Dictatorship. It's kind of a funny uh, term here because it implies, just like it says, that he made himself dictator, but it also implies it was somehow organic, like it just kind of naturally came about. Everybody just kind of naturally agreed, oh yeah, let's give you supreme control over everything that's possible. It was out of this decree uh, that he tried to eradicate private property and give it over to the state, uh, that he tried to eradicate any form of law beyond what he himself decreed. Of course, the reality was is that roughly 1% of the population in Venezuela, for example, where he had uh, so much support, actually owned nearly all of the land and kept it so long as they were loyal to Bolivar. Eventually, in 1830, he would retire, uh, just one month before he would actually die. He had this to say about his work in South America. I have ruled for 20 years. And from these, I have derived only a few certainties. South America is ungovernable for us. Those who serve a revolution plow the sea. The only thing one can do in America is to emigrate. This country will fall inevitably into the hands of the unbridled masses and then pass almost imperceptibly into the hands of petty tyrants of all colors and races. Once we have been devoured by every crime and extinguished by utter ferocity, the Europeans will not even regard us as worth conquering. If it were possible for any part of the world to revert to primitive chaos, it would be America in her final hour. In other words, he kind of recognized at the end of all that revolution didn't actually accomplish anything. Not even his own dictatorship accomplished anything. It was a rather brilliant confession at the end of his life. He left, of course, his greatest mark on Venezuela, which has seen some 26 constitutions since he actually ruled.